ஹாய் ஹலோ வணக்கம் அண்ட் வெல்கம் பேக் டு எட் அனதர் எபிசோட் ஆன் லிட்டில் ஸ்லா யூடியூப் சேனல் அண்ட் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி அபவுட் ஹவு டு யூஸ் தி ஜாவா ஸ்கிரிப்ட் லைப்ரரி தி ஜேஎஸ் லைப்ரரிஸ் அண்ட் ஹவு டு வி இன்வோக் தேட் இன் தி ஜாவா ஸ்கிரிப்ட் விச் இஸ் இன் தி ஆக்ஷன்ஸ் ஸோ நஃப் ஆர் சப்ஸ்கிரைபர் ஹாவ் ஆஸ்க்ட் அஸ் டு ஷோ ஹவு டு யூஸ் JavaScript libraries and how to invoke that action in the JavaScript. So today we will see how to do that. So firstly for that we need to create a JavaScript library. So to create a JavaScript library we have to go to edit JS libraries and under JS libraries we can either click the new JS library or we can click the icon the new JS library icon. So I'm clicking on this button. and for now it is prompting us to enter the library name so what we are going to do now or what we are going to see today is very basic functions something like the arithmetic operators because that will help you to understand and you can slowly build on top of it so i will just give the very basic functions the javascript library functions so i'm adding a function which is add and there are two options either if you have the library the java library in your location you can just take it from there or else if you are creating a new one you can just choose this create a new library file so i'm just choosing the create a new library file so that i can automatically enter the values here in near load and i'm clicking on finish and here you can see the add javascript has been created and this will be in the default location inside the new load scripts so here we can check it so this is under the scripts location which is under the variables part so now let's move on to the javascript library and here in this js what we are going to do is i'm going to write a function which is a very basic function which is function add and two variables which is p1 and p2 and then i'm giving opening the brackets and inside it i'm going to do the operations which is returning the p1 value plus p2 value so this is a very simple function so what we have did so far is we are creating a function with the add operation for two variables so if we pass two variables p1 and p2 it automatically returns the addition of the value so let's now see how does it work so to invoke that into the javascript so what we are going to do now is we will click on okay so so far the first step of creating the javascript inside the java lib script library is completed so the first step is completed and now let's move on to the second step and again i am telling you so to go to this window you will have to click on edit js libraries and automatically this library window will open if you have not created already this will ask you for creating this option so now we have this add function in the javascript library and i am clicking on okay and let's now move on to the actions and under the actions i am adding the javascript action and for that i'm adding this is an insert as a child and i'm moving to the javascript so inside javascript let me remove all the default lines we have and what i'm going to do now is we have multiple functions in logger like debug and we have info so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to use info so that i'm going to print and show you how does it work and the function is add and i'm going to pass two values one is 10 and another one is 20 and let's close it so let me just check the function again so this is add and i'm passing two variables inside the function and we are going to add and return it so we'll have to click the apply and if the syntax is correct it will 
tell the subscription tax is valid we have already seen that in our previous videos on the get set variables so in case if you are missing a semicolon or if you are missing a bracket inside it automatically when you click on apply it will tell you subscription tax is valid but still it is invalid and we can get we can note it once we run the script so for now I'm just completing the script and I'm saving it and let's check do a check now I'm starting the checking and here we can see the value is successfully added and we can see the value has been passed so let's now write another function so for that we'll have to go to the edit JS libraries and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add another function which is going to be subtract and I'm clicking on finish and let's now write the function which is going to be function sub p1 and p2 the variable 1 and 2 then let's open and close the brackets and let's send the values back which is p1 minus p2 and let me click on apply let me click ok and here again we'll come back and let's write the function which is sub of 100 comma 50 and let's close it with a semicolon so what we have did so far is we have created an add JS file inside the library and then a sub which is the add is addition and sub is subtraction and then we are passing the value in the JavaScript which we have created under the user path and let's click on apply and now let's run the script and see how does it work so here we can see that the first function the add and the second function subtract has worked successfully so now what we are going to do now is let us add the other functions in the same function so what we are going to do now is let's add the other functions for example if I want to multiply I can do that here multiply p1 p2 and p3 and let's open and close the brackets and let's return p1 multiplied by p2 multiplied by p3 and then we will write another function which is divide for that div which is going to be p1 comma p2 and then let me write the function as p1 divided by p2 so we have added multiple functions here so the first function we had sub which we have already executed and tried and the second function in this sub javascript file is multiply and then we have this divide so and in this we are passing three variables and under divide we are passing two variables so let's move on to the javascript we have created and then let's see let's pass the value so logger.info is going to be multiply 100 into 99 and 98 and then the next function which is logger.info which is divide so what we're going to divide is 5 4 3 comma 3 and let's see how does it work let's click on apply since we have added new functions so every time make sure that you click on apply to make sure that the script syntax is valid so the very basic script syntaxes validation will happen here and it will be fixed and let's now move on to the checking and now we can see that we have successfully completed all the functions that has got executed from the JavaScript library into the Java's file so one thing which is 
an advantage of having the script is we can use that in multiple scripts for example they are they are like a public variables and if even if we go to the actions and even if we add the javascript so initially we have scripted this inside the first that's a test and now when we are moving it to the another script which is the mobile testing and when I click on apply and if I check this value so even this one or this JavaScript is common across the script or it is common across the entire workspace which we run here so here we even here we can see and for example like we can change the values here we don't need to have the same values so even we have different values automatically the function will be called and this is how we use the javascript variable and this is something like a variable which is public to the entire script so any number of scripts you can have it under this workspace and you can have it under the population so automatically every value will be used or you can pass different set of functions and you can pass different set of values in it and in our next video we will see with another advanced set of functions on how to effectively use the variables using the javascript libraries and again i would like to thank the subscriber for asking this question thank you so much please do comment and question your feedbacks in the comment section and thanks everyone for your support please don't forget to subscribe to the channel until we meet you in another interesting video it's bye bye from Vasan Shanmugam and Little Slaw